So I want to show you today, this is how things are growing. Uh, this side over here is not watered, the middle is, so presumably some water is getting to left and right. And um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I guess there's quite a dormant patch over here. And over here the plants. Of course there's different plants, but they're doing pretty good. And what I want to show you, which is potentially useful, potentially, everything has a good and a bad side. Oh, you might not be able to see it. There are plant roots coming through from the bottom. Now they've dried up a bit on the tips, and but when they came through first they were pretty beautiful. And I think what I'm going to do is, I am going to um, put plastic under one section and see if these plant roots will come through and uh, become, um, you know, uh, have the, the fuzz of little rootlets out of them. It might happen. I might even drill in a couple of holes as well. And I'll keep one area. I'm going to water this right the way along. And uh, I'll keep one area um, with... Um, I'll drill some holes in the, in the wood at the bottom and see if they'll come out and form kind of bushy roots with, uh, if I enclose it in plastic. And um, just, I'll just show you another area too. So this is the same deal. Now these are Welsh onions up here. And uh, the roots have, uh, I turned this watering off a couple of hours ago. But do you see how the roots have come down? And now finally they've come down this far. And they've become kind of crappy looking at the, f at the top. But if something like that was enclosed in with plastic, maybe it would end up like aeroponics. So yeah, there's none on this row. And oh, there's some coming through over in the corner there, this row, I think. But anyway, that's the deal for the moment. Uh, I'm thinking of doing that. Um, enclosing a couple of places and see if the high humidity enables them to continue growing. So it might be good, it might be bad, who knows. Thanks, bye-bye.